Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. Hello. Hello, my dear kids. Very good afternoon. How are you? I am now force of habit. Yeah. So, guys, how is everybody? Exams are over or still going on? Hi, Sumaya. How are you? Deepa, Raja Raman. Hi, Bipasha. Hi. Lovely to see all of you guys. Punya, welcome. Yeah, guys. Nabamita, ma'am, will be there, guys. Will be there. In summer camp, she will be there. Don't worry. Dylan. Yo, okay. Devian, welcome back here. Yeah? Long time. Lovely to see all of you. See, guys. So, uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, all of us face this uh, issue day to day, right? Mosquito repellents are not very healthy, very unhealthy, right? Using uh, mosquito repellents, coils, all these are very unhealthy practices. So people identified a hack in the form of a mosquito bat, correct? So uh, most of us, for most of us, mosquito bats come as a savior, especially during time of power cuts and uh, in case our UPS is not working, especially during the evenings, right? Nights. Now, how do these mosquito bats work? That's what we're going to see today. Okay? So, be ready. Arpit, for you it is over here. Miramadhan, welcome back. Long time. Yes, sir. Anil is saying yes, sir, in rainy season. You know what? Here in my place, even in summer season, the mosquitoes are killing here. Yeah, really. Mosquito bats is his life. Superb guys, superb. See, I'm just waiting for a few more guys to jump in, then we will start the session. Obviously, I'm not going to take a lot of time. A few more seconds, okay? Yeah, Menti is there. Five questions on Menti is there. So, you got to be on your toes to answer those questions, right? It's a very crisp session here. Not much to explain on uh, mosquito bat. But many times, I myself used to wonder, how do these bats work? So, I, I thought I'll take 10 minutes time to explain that and then we'll be off to a Menti. Okay? Right. By the way, guys, uh, there is a person called uh, Sao Shi. His name is Sao Shi. Sao, S-A-O-I-S-H-I-S-H. T-S-A-O. Sao Shi. He is uh, a guy from Taiwan. He is the one who got a patent for a mosquito bat. So, uh, ideally, you can call him he invented mosquito bat. Right? He, a proper domestic mosquito bat. Sao Shi got the patent for that. Now, I, how can I say here? You listen to the session, then you will know whether it's easy or not. So, guys, a little about Vedanta Young Wonders. Summer camp is coming. You have Spanish in this time. You have a lot of puzzles. You have a lot of motivation stuff. Lovely stuff, guys. It's going to be super interesting. The day-to-day -day summer camp. I want everyone to be on that. Okay? Don't miss it. Because we'll not have a lot of sessions. Maximum one, max to max two sessions in a day. And we will also have quizzes on IPL also. Because when IPL starts, the previous day's match, we will have a quiz on the next day. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. We'll make the entire summer camp super informative, more important. My first objective is making it useful for you. Second is making it fun. Right? Okay. Summer camp starts coming Monday, 29th, 29th of March. Right? So... Hit the like button and let me know you are waiting for the summer camp, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the like button now. Let me see how many likes are coming. Ravi Yadav, I remember you always say, sir, you are ignoring. Anita Kanetkar, hi, welcome. Deepa Rajaraman is saying, hired it. It's liked it. <laughs> I think it's a typo, right? All right, guys. So, I hope all of you have liked the session. Let us move on. Guys, new academic year for Vedanta Young Wonders will start. Leave, leave April. We'll start by May. Okay. The electric mosquito bat. It's also called as an electric fly sweater. You sweat it, right? Fly sweater. And looks like a typical tennis racket. I don't know how many of you guys have, you know, held a tennis racket in your hands. So, it is an electric fly sweater. Whenever mosquitoes fly, you sweat it and mosquitoes go to the inner 
they touch the inner coil which is uh, you know part of the bat and they get electrocuted that's it right now how does this electrocution happens what how much current uh, you know electric power is there in the bat how does it all work i'll make it simple for all of you yeah hi ria welcome back hi alexa So guys, the, in the bat, you see two sections. One is an outer coil. It's not a coil, it's a winding, a metallic winding. Inner, you have a winding, a circuit. So, and the bats, all these electric, you know, mosquito bats are, you know, they have their batteries, which are chargeable, right? Guys, uh, direct current from the, in the batteries, you see only three volts ka DC. But when it comes to the output, there is a step up transformer inside the current, in the, in the bat. What is the use of the step up transformer? It boosts the voltage and you know converts it. There is a DC to AC conversion, right? And uh, uh, once it is converted into AC, the power can be boosted, amplified a lot. It gets amplified to more than 1000 volts through a step up transformer. Small 3 volt DC battery gets amplified when it, the power is converted into AC alternate current, right? through a step up transformer imagine when someone touches and suddenly a thousand volts sparkles right obviously mosquitoes can't withstand that they get electrocuted and die so look at the uh, the you know the circuit so it has a flashlight led typically when you press the power button the led starts blue you know uh, glowing now you also have a capacitor what is the use of a capacitor guys can anyone tell me what is the use of a capacitor here capacitor is used for generally any capacitor used for storing current so when you have a huge amount of current which is converted you need a place to store that current right which is capacitor so capacitor stores that large amount of voltage and once the electrocution happens it releases the entire voltage onto the mosquito. So I already told you step up transformer's job is to push the voltage, boost it, amplify it and give it. Right? So slide switch is for on off, as simple as that. Guys, is it clear? It's pretty simple, right? And you also see an FE transistor. Transistor generally, the job of a transistor, transistor is to amplify and os oscillate the current. So once someone presses, the transistor starts pushing, sending the current throughout the bat. When someone presses the power button. Alright, when you release it, transistor stops working. Are you guys clear? Guys, if... Yeah, Deepa is saying, sir, poor mosquitoes. We can't help it, that's the law of life, right? So guys, uh, if you are very clear how this works, what is the use of a, you know, a transformer, capacitor and transistor, give me a yo. Nothing more to explain, it's very simple. Hi Dia, welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. So guys, an electric mosquito bat is something invented by a Taiwanese uh, creator, inventor, called as Shao Zi. Shao Zi -E -Z. He's from Taiwan. He got the patent for this in 1996. He applied and got the copyright, 1996. And uh, the way the mosquito bat, it has two layers. The outer layer is also a metallic layer, metallic net, which typically prevents some, you know, human beings, anyone for that matter, from touching the inner circuit. Inside you have the actual circuit. The conductor is generally aluminium. Aluminium is a better conductor of electricity, right? You have it in aluminium and uh, you have a, you know, rechargeable battery which has 3 volts generally and that converts the DC current in the battery into AC through a step up transformer and the capacitor is used for storing that current and when the mosquito touches the inner part when you press the power button the transistor is responsible for oscillating the current and sending the power throughout the circuit and when the mosquito touches it it suddenly gets you know the entire voltage in one shot gets electrocuted clear it is so simple 
Is everyone clear? Give me a yo guys. Let me understand if I have been simple enough. Hi Ria, hi Ria, hi Ria. I'm very, very sorry. Sorry, I, I, I missed it. Okay, I forgot. Yo, 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 the yo rain has started. Lovely guys, good. Adiba, hi. Lovely. So the way the you know, mosquito bat works, it aims at uh, the mosquitoes when you keep flatting. The outer grid is for safety so that we don't touch it. The outer grid is also the return path for the current to complete the circuit. So that means what? The outside you have that winding right in the mosquito bat. Even if that is broken, the bat will not work. So the inner circuit is where which does all the magic so it is outer uh, you know layer the grid is important for the current to complete the circuit both both the sides now outer grid has holes large enough for the mosquitoes to go but our fingers will not go once they touch both outer and inner grid a short circuit develops and large circuit passes through them and they get electrocuted few mosquitoes explode few mosquitoes does just die that's it it is safe for human beings, but uh, getting often current is not healthy. All right. It should be kept away from small children. They, you know, sometimes it becomes difficult for them to withstand that current. So I think I spoke about this. The outer mesh. All right. It, uh, it is used. Look at that picture. Yeah, it is used using a special punch or a sheet metal. And the mesh material, which is the circuit, is aluminium, which is obviously a good uh, electric conductor. So both these sides, outer mesh, in the center, inner mesh. Clear? Awesome. Ria is saying, I got shocked once. Yeah, I got a shock. Okay, guys. Ready for a mentee? If you guys are clear, give me a yo. I'm going to jump into a mentee now. When tea is free, of course, are they? All right. So, guys, yeah, by the way, if you guys want to learn from us, Vedantu has come out with a lovely subscription. It's called Vedantu Pro. Unlimited live classes, unlimited doubt solving, in replays, anytime watch replays, periodical tests and assignments, so many features, guys. 5,000 plus topic wise, chapter wise courses, everything is there. Details are pinned to your description box. Use that. All right. And to get a discount, use this coupon code SRPRO. Okay. Lovely. So, guys, SRPRO is the code per class. You hardly spend like eight rupees, roughly. If you are in grade eight, 10, 10 rupees, roughly 10, 10 to 11. Yes. Who invented the mosquito bat? Sauji and he patented it in 1996. So guys, the assembly is very simple. So sometimes if mosquito bat is not working, don't throw it. You can always remove it, remove the soldering and correct it. It's a little of experiment that you need to do. Cool. So this is how it works. Mithilesh, yeah, I am right now uh, in Tamil Nadu, but yes, I work from Bangalore. I live in Bangalore. 91520039, guys, 91520039. Menti, you have to go to menti.com. Go to www.menti.com. M E N T I. Kimtiheiser, both of them function the same way. In few bats, you will have a slide button. In few uh, bats, you have the push button. Okay, guys, go to open a separate browser window. 
go to the website www.menti.com and type this code 9152039. It is invented by a Taiwanese inventor. His name is Sao Yi Zi. T S A O Sao E I C S H I I H. Sao Yi Zi. He patented it in 1996. Okay, hi ones, how are you? You can do it, Sujit. Okay, guys, moving on to Menti now. Go to www.menti.com first. Press enter. Once you go to menti.com and press enter, it is going to ask you, please enter the code. Are you able to see that? So now I'll tell you the code. I already gave you the code. 9152039. So guys, another 15 seconds, I'm going to start the quiz. There are only five questions, simple and clear. 9152-0039. I'm refreshing the page so that no one is missing out on entering the quest. Niresha, hi. How does a wheeler, what wheeler? Shanti Murugesh. It should happen in May. I am not able to give you the exact date, but yes, in May. In Vedantu, the normal academic year starts from Monday. Okay, here we go. Lovely first question on your screens now. Who invented mosquito bats? Look at that. How many times I told? Xi'an Lian Len, Kyo Nan Liu, Yui An Liu, Sao Yi Zi. Never ever make a mistake here and break my heart. Ruhan, all the very best here. Rock and roll. Hope you have prepared amazingly well. So how many of you say Sawiji? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Almost all of you. So after one question, we have Tanusha, Sharmada, Arpit, AJ and Shivam. Top 5. MLN, Alona, Hi. Hitanshi, Aragul, Tanika, Pratviraj, Vibor. 6 to 10. Question number two, only three more to go after this. Be ready. Question number two. Sanjay? That's how Menti works, Sanjay. What is the battery voltage of mosquito bat? I don't know how many of you know. Voltage, guys, don't get confused. 11 volts, 100 volts, 110 volts, 200 volts. Look at that. Veera Raghavan Sheshadri, rock star. The differences are very minimal. So don't get confused. Hundred and ten volts it is. Superb. So it looks like Shruti is at the top, guys, or Samridhi. Shruti, wow. Shruti, Dwaraka, Tanusha, Aman and Harshini, top five. Anjali, Samridhi, Darini, Shvetakshi, and Pavitra. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shruti is at the top now. Now, question number three, two more to go. Here we go. Come on, guys. 
let us see how it works guys this is more of a biology question do you think mosquitoes sleep simple general knowledge question but funny Do you think mosquitoes sleep? Yes or a no? So how many of you say no? Hmm, there are 36 of you who say yes. Mosquitoes don't sleep, guys. Not at all. So Dwarak. Dwarak is at the top, followed by Tanusha, Harshini, Samrithi, Aman. Top 5. Anjali, Garvet, Shristi, Varsha and Pavitra. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, question number 4. Just one more to go after this. Ready for that? Here it comes on your screens. How much voltage is in a mosquito racket? How much voltage is there in a mosquito racket? 100 to 200, 300 to 400, 400 to 500, 600 to 700. This I did not tell you guys, but I, I have told you guys it can go up to 1000, right? Let me see if you guys know what. 100 to 200, come on. All right, that's not enough. 300 to 400 volts. So now, Dwarak, wow, Dwarak, still at the top. Followed by Aman, no, Aman is at the top, wow. Followed by Dwarak, Shristi, Hiba, and Nagar, Narasimha Sai, top five. Vidya, Nishan, Tayushi, Tanushan, Harshini. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lovely. Guys, are you ready for the final tamale? Come on, give me a yo. Going for the final question. Sanjay, my next session should be in the evening today. Question number five. When was the electric mosquito sweater invented? I told you guys this year. I don't know how many of you listened to me. 1992, 5, 95, 96, 94. I even showed it in the slide. Ria, it should be at... Uh, 8 p.m. 1996. That's when he got the copyright. So officially it's like that's the year when he invented it. So looks like guys looks like Aman is winning. Wow Aman congratulations. Followed by Dwarak, Naga, Vidya and Hiba. Great job done. Aman congratulations. Dwarak, Naga, Vidya and Hiba. Amazing job. Arshini, Nishanti, Tanusha, Samrudhi and Svetashi. Great job done guys. You guys are also part of the leaderboard today. Keep it up. Guys, there could have been so many of you who got the right answers but could not get into the leaderboard. Now it is very simple. We know how a mosquito bat works. A battery with a 3 volt voltage is there. <coughs> and there is a circuit. This, uh, the battery, you know, the DC current gets uh, stepped up into AC current up to a thousand volts though it is 300 to 400 volts which is the range and that the capacitor is storing and it has three layers both the sides outer grid is there inside the circuit is there uh, both all three are metallic the inside we have the aluminium conductor because that's a good conductor of electricity whenever you press the button there is an oscillate i know the transistor which powers the entire ac current throughout the bat right and when the mosquito touches it the entire voltage is on to the mosquito and it gets electrocuted 
simple lovely guys hit the like button and let me know you are clear and you liked it now you can confidently tell everyone how a mosquito bat works right all the best guys so i will see you in the evening until then this is bai from sundar rabindranathan hit the like button and yes look at that person he is dancing and asking for you to click on him the subscribe guy please do that thank you so much guys i will meet you guys in the evening take care bye bye now we are the summer camp is on 29th which is this monday the coming monday hi tanu welcome back bye